Yeah, what it is guys, your boy Roy Jay-Z, so we're back at it again with another video. So for today's video, we're going to be showing y'all how not to blow your mother up. So, as you know, once you add a billet rod, billet flywheel, that is protection part. But guess what? On a billet rod, you can change out the rod bearing. So basically, if you don't change out the rod bearing on the motor, you can spin a rod and it can mess up the crank and all that. So that's like expensive little thing right there. But yeah, man, even though you got the billet parts, you still got to change the rod bearings in the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to change out the rod bearings. I'm going to show y'all how worn out my rod bearings is because rod bearings, they can last for like six, seven months. It depends on how hard you run the motor. My last rod bearings, I ran them into like seven months and the rod bearings have like little missing pieces on the rod bearing so yeah man you don't really want to you know do that because you can mess up the crank but if your crank got any type of damage you can get the um lightest greatest sandpaper and sand the crank down and just clean it off once you're done but yeah man for the share of my motor so let's get it you been yes yeah, sir y'all see that thing so what i did was i vented my motor i'm not going to lie to y'all i really didn't need to do it but it made the motor look way better you feel me i cleaned the motor up vented it and i painted this mug you feel me so it's a blue with a like i said roll gold like little flakes on it so yeah man i did my thing on it no cap but once i get my frame back y'all gonna see a whole big difference it's all the colors gonna come together on the frame so yeah man so let's get to these rod bearings all right so once you got the motor open what you want to do is you want to take the spark plug out so you can rotate the um crank a little easier without having to do the compression of the spark plug then what you need is a 12 point socket this is a special point um socket for these billet rods but yeah man this is a one fourth where's the number a one fourth 12 point socket you feel me so you know this the motor you know nothing crazy <laughs> look at uh Yes, sir. So we got the rod bearings out, and like I suspected, it was definitely damaged on it. You see, this is a oh, this is my old rod bearing. You see right there, that's where the damage area is. Metal pieces is missing on it. This is the back. The back is pretty good, but you see, like right there in the corner, that's the damage right there. And this is a brand new rod bearing. You see how the rod bearing got all the material there, ain't got no lines in her back. But yeah, man, definitely like I said change out your rod bearing just you can spin a bearing if you don't change them out it's not that hard you feel me just get you a 12 point socket if you put the rod in you can take the rod you don't even have to take the rod out you feel me you just rotate the crank that side gonna fall out but yeah man like i said change our rod bearings out we finna um put it back in and we finna um show you everything i need to do all right so this is the other half of it um this is the um the piece on the rod this side is saying the damage is in the same area and at the bottom on this one so but it's like it's not that bad but at least i caught it i say right in my opinion in my opinion i say if you riding hard change your rod bearing at least like every two three months or check on them but yeah man so you don't have to like lose material because where's the material going so it's going somewhere on in this motor so we got, just got to figure where it's going but yeah man make sure you change your rod bearing all right instead of me being lazy i took the crank out to give y'all a better view of it um like i said it just minor little scuffs of the motor just rotating and stuff but yeah man i just wanted to, the only reason i really took it out to double check my my bottom piece of my rod but yeah the rod is good no cap so like i said get your stuff right you feel me get your mind right get your motor right get your stuff right you know what 